Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading. And Scorpios, you are up, so this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Scorpio in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Scorpio in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Scorpio in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please like my channel. If it does not res resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign. Um, in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your uh, sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, I am holding off on readings right now. I have a ton of emails that I want to get to and do everybody's reading. So if you have emailed me already and I have not responded to your email, um, just know that it's because I'm trying to clear out my inbox to get all the readings out first come first serve. Um, that's the process that I go about doing things. So once I get to a point where I can start taking other readings and doing other re um, more people in, then I will start replying to their email. So you'll get a reply email from me. Um, please, um, so just please email me before you, you send me a payment or anything like that. Please email me before you do that, okay? Um, uh, you can, if you're interested in, um, so again, uh, the ones that have already uh, booked a reading with me and if you're waiting for your reading, thank you for your patience. I'm go I'm pushing forward again. Mercury retrograde kicked my butt with Pisces um, uh, season. It kicked my butt because I'm a Pisces moon. So it caused me to like really, really have to sit down and pause and reevaluate my life. And then a lot of things were brought up and things that I was not seeing before that I had to deal with. So um, caused me to basically have to pause my life for now and I'm I, I'm glad it's airy season so now I can step back into my confidence Scorpios you can step back into your confidence with it being or uh, airy season so this is the time for you to gain that passion that it's the time for you to gain that motivation and for you to just basically use your inner strength in order for you to move forward okay so again if you don't like my intros at the beginning of my videos I always have a timestamp in the bottom of the comments of the section of the videos you can always scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see a comment section it'll have a timestamp there you'll go directly to the reading okay um the cards that i use in my videos are also listed in the description box of my videos as well as the about me of my i mean as well as the link for the cafe astrology for your birth charts would also be listed there too um let's see anything else the cards have already been shuffled um the main deck we will shuffle those on camera the other decks we will cut them on camera i do have my music in the background uh -uh. when i was um shuffling your cards and everything uh scorpio uh another deck of cards was on the table and when i was doing it um like one of the cards had flipped over like on itself and it said pregnancy. So I wonder if there's some of you Scorpios that could be pregnant. And then it also had a, a daughter card as well. So some of y'all could be pregnant and you could be expecting a girl. Um, some of y'all could 
your daughter could be um if let's say if you are a mother um your daughter could be pregnant expecting a girl um let's say if there is um somebody that you're dealing with there could be a that person are you thinking about pregnancy somebody has pregnancy on their mind so i want to say that before we start the reading because i want to see if it's going to come out in any of the cards again um as far as the reading goes uh let's see is there anything else that i'm missing I don't think so. Let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Okay. Sorry, these cards are slippery. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times. Whatever is at the bottom of the deck this next time, I will take it as part of your energy. So we have the seven of wands. So when the seven of wands comes out, this is about some of you Scorpios could be feeling guarded. Um, somebody that you're dealing with could be feeling guarded. There could be a bit of a rivalry, feeling like you have to protect something. Um, there could be other people coming to with to you with their opinions. Um, you know, the way that they feel, let's say if Scorpios um, earlier I was saying the mothers, let's say if some of your mother or just other people that's in your environment can make you, make you want to, what am I, what am I trying to say? Other people that's in your environment, regardless if it's friends or family members could be like saying for you to live your life a certain way. So other people's can, opinions can be involved as far as when it comes to a situation, this could be, you know, just their overall opinion on how you should live your life is what I'm getting, is what I'm hearing. So some of you Scorpios are dealing with people that are, you know, trying to tell you how to live your life, how for you to do this, for you to do that. Um, other people, if you are guarding, let's say this could be a relationship, the way that you feel, your emotions, just everybody just coming at you and you just not understanding why they're coming towards you is what I'm getting from the, this as far as this seven of wands energy. But some of y'all have gained the courage, uh, Scorpios. I feel that y'all have gained the courage in certain situation. Um, you're focused, you're ready. Some of you Scorpios are ready for the challenge. So there could be somebody that's challenging you, Scorpios or cross watchers. A Scorpio could be challenging you. We have the Hermit card upright. We have the World card reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles upright. And then we have the Eight of Cups upright. Wow. Okay. And the overall energy that we have is the Four of Swords. So again, this is somebody recovering after they have took some type of rest. So let's say Scorpios during, you know, um, if you have been secluded, removed away from certain people, again, let's say you have the seven of swords. So some of y'all have been protecting your energy. You've been protecting yourself from other people just coming in, trying to, you know, either, you know, tear down your foundation, put you in a place where it's going to cause you confusion. I just feel that a lot of y'all are very protective right now. Our Scorpio are dealing with somebody that's very protective. Um, this person could have had some type of, um, you know, solitude about themselves. They could have been, you know, not speaking to you like as far as the normal or you could have secluded yourself from certain people that you felt that was just trying to bring conflict into your life. But this is basically you recovering. This is you resuming back to normal active activities after being in some type of rest, you know, some type of healing, um, physical healing um, mode, you know, no movement. Um, I, if, for example, I feel that this to me, this card, Four of Swords, as far as this, this deck, this is my Sleeping Beauty card. So again, let's say if somebody you were dealing Scorpio with certain people, again, 
somebody not re- coming to a realization of a certain situation. Like I feel that somebody could be awakening um, to um, a certain situation that they were not seeing before. Or let's say if other people were uh, other people's opinions were involved or that was causing this person to, you know, move a certain way or do a certain thing. I feel that somebody could be coming to realization of that as well is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, but when the Four of Swords is reversed again, uh, resuming back to normal activities after some type of conflict, after some type of comp- competition, after some type of um, challenge, somebody challenging you and you feeling like you have to be guarded, okay? We have the Hermit card. So again, this is more in your present as well as your past energy. So again, this is perfect example of the Hermit card when they go and start doing that inner searching, they start doing that inner wisdom, they're doing the things that they need to do in order for them to gain that guidance and gain that wisdom. So I feel that you Scorpios have done that. You you went through the journey, you, you you healed the things that you needed to heal as far as, let's say, if there was competition, things that you were dealing with, are you feeling like you have to protect yourself always, or people were not respecting your, your, your space. I feel that a lot of y'all are, you know, in a position right now where you're just wanting to, you know, you're, you're wanting to move forward, but you're wanting to move forward in a logical way. You're not wanting other people's opinions to stir you or lead you to something that's not for you. So I feel a lot of y'all have been doing a lot of soul searching. You've been doing a lot of things that you need to do, regardless if it's meditating, you know, taking spiritual baths, just having that alone time, you know, taking time for yourself. And again, that y'all are recovering from it. Um, There could have been, you know, in the past, an ending to a relationship or some type of separation that took place. This is a karmic completion. So a lot of y'all were dealing with delays as far as, you know, so cycles completing um, the way that you would like to. Um, you know, you just having those accomplishments, um, you feeling fulfilled, that fulfillment, I feel that a lot of y'all have, and it possibly could have been, like I said, in a home situation, or it could have been something as far as your foundation, regardless if this is foundation within yourself, as far as your self-esteem, because when the world card is reversed, this is earth. And when earth cards are reversed, this has to do with, you know, somebody that's either insecure, they're dealing with some, in some type of insecurities, they don't have that confidence about themselves, or, you know, you're dealing with somebody that possibly could have been an earth sign that was very very selfish. They were more into materialistic things. Some of y'all were dealing with, again, a karmic relationship where y'all had to basically, you know, heal yourself from is what I'm getting. So a lot of y'all could have had delays as far as money situations, things not going the way that you're wanting them to go. Um, let's say if this is you, Scorpio, and this is something that you're getting over after the past, after something that has caused you to have to do some type of healing in order for you to get over it. I feel that this caused you to be very overwhelmed. It caused a lot of difficulties in your life, as well as just leading to overall stress making you feel worn out. A lot of y'all are dealing with people that possibly could be energy vampires or somebody that basically just latches on your, your energy. Keep in mind, Scorpios, y'all, y'all are a water card, so y'all are very empathic and y'all tend to, um, I, I consider y'all as like, y'all are the Scorpio, right? The stinger. But I also consider y'all like as a, cha- a chameleon because you're able to com- cam- uh, camouflage, you know, with, with other people that's around you. And when you do that, you tend to, with you being an, you know, a, uh, in an emotional water sign and most a majority of y'all are impasse y'all latch up, other people latch onto your energy and i feel that a lot of y'all are feeling a lot drained right now y'all feel that y'all had to um you know d- seek the rest that you need in order for you to be able to f- uh, move forward a lot of y'all could have had your root chakra and your heart chakra you know um out of alignment closed needing to repair that again building that confidence back, you doing the things that you need to do in order for you to gain control back of your life is what I'm getting. So when the world card is reversed, so let's say if you were dealing with somebody that is an earth sign and it possibly could be a Virgo, um, this are, it could be another earth sign, which be a Taurus or Capricorn. Um, this person, let's say this person could be feeling, um, are you Scorpio? You could be feeling very overwhelmed as far as when it comes to this relationship. Again, regardless if this person puts you in competition or you feel that you were always, I feel that some of you Scorpios feel that you are always having to defend yourself with this person. Um, and there was like a lot of delays is what I'm hearing. A lot of delays. Um, somebody could have also been holding back some type of truth or there could have been somebody that let's say Scorpios, if you were dealing with somebody, somebody could have been in a, in a 
commitment or in a relationship. Let's say if they did put you in some type of competition, um, they could have been in a marriage. You found out this person was in a marriage and again, you had to pull yourself away from this or they were in some type of relationship that was possibly long term is what I'm getting from this. But they see you, Scorpio women, let's say if this is you, Scorpio women or even Scorpio man, they see you as somebody that's very nurturing. They see you as somebody very caring as well as somebody that has a very big heart. Um, you can be somebody that's very hardworking. So a lot of you Scorpios, let's say if you were distancing yourself from, you know, something that hurts you, you could have been more focused on your money um, in order to get you, you know, help you heal is what I'm getting. So a lot of y'all could be right now focused on money, focused on your abundance, focused on, you know, just building that solid foundation for you is what I'm getting. Some of y'all, again, let's say if you were dealing with, you know, insecurity issues, self-esteem issues, I feel that you're gaining that confidence back. Um, you're gaining your strength back. And again, it is airy season. So this also, this is the opportunity for you to put in action, put in movement, put in, you know, putting yourself first um, in order for you to get yourself out of anything. I do see that there could have been some of you Scorpios that are walking away from an earth sign. So it could be a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus that you are walking away from. Um, let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, you could have already walked away from this person, separated yourself away. Um, this is the turning away. This is also the loneliness card as well as, you know, just that, that temporary success. I feel that there's still somebody that's clinging onto the past and they're holding onto the past because again, this is the holding on to the past so scorpio there could be an earth sign that you don't want to let go of or an earth sign does not want to let go of you scorpio is what i'm getting from this too um let's see we have the four of cups which is upright we have the two of pentacles which is reversed and then we have the highest priestess, which is reversed. So again, let's say if this is an earth sign that's coming back again, a possible Virgo or possible somebody that has earth in their chart. Um, this person right now has is in some type of regress. They have some type of missed opportunities. They feel like they missed some opportunities. They could be overindulging in certain things as far as alcohol or certain things that keeping them, you know, living in certain illusions or making them, you know, um, not take the truth so lightly is what i'm hearing so some of you scorpios could be indulging in alcohol or indulging in things or cross watchers you can be dodging in alcohol or indulging in things just to hide out you know just to hide hide your emotions that is what i'm getting to hide your emotions and they're saying for you not to do that um again if you feel like you missed an opportunity again let's say if this virgo or this person that you're dealing with this person that you know this could be a marriage um and your marriage has had you know some rocky foundations or the relationship that you have been in has some rocky foundations this other person that was doing um that was causing all the conflicts and one that you were having to defend yourself for um two scorpios this person has a bit of regret they're realizing that the missed opportunities that have caused um in the relationship um so this person you know has the opportunity to move forward i feel that this person right now could just be right now being very emotional them just replaying what's going what has happened not realizing that yeah you know three cups are empty but you still have you know another cup over here so again somebody could be also trying to get your attention scorpio or um uh Scorpios, you could be trying to get somebody else's attention too and letting them know that you're wanting to start a new beginning even after the delays. Um, I feel that somebody also felt that, let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past um, because of the history that you and them had, if you turned away from this person or you separated yourself from this person because this person was juggling because we have the two of wands being reversed. And I mean, the two of pinnacles being reversed. And when the two of pinnacles is reversed, this is about somebody juggling. This is about somebody that was weighing out their options. And while they were weighing out them, their options or doing whatever that they were doing as far as the juggling, it was causing delays in the relationship. So it's making it, you know, feel like it was more of a karmic relationship. Y'all were not having the karmic completions that you needed to um, not getting to that 10 is what I'm hearing. So somebody's realizing that they were the one that was causing them not to get to the 10 as far as the relationship is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, when the two of pentacles is also reversed again, overwhelmed. 
this person is feeling very overwhelmed um, for, you know, the things that they have done. Um, this is also discontent whenever this card is upright too. So again, the four cups, this person is feeling very discontent. They possibly again could have reject you in the past, Scorpio, or you could have rejected this person in the past. There was some rejection that was involved and it caused somebody to walk away. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, but now I feel that this person is now wanting to see some type of opportunity. Let's say if there was things that were not, um, if there was any lies or if there was any, uh, manipulations anything that was secretive as far as when it comes to this relationship let's say if some of y'all were finding out this person had a family this person was married i feel that you're realizing um you you you, you realize the manipulation that this person um was giving to you and then you walked away you removed yourself from this connection so again some of y'all that removed yourself from this connection this person is coming back and whatever like let's say that was not told whatever lies that was told i feel that this person is coming back so whatever secrets they were told, I feel that y'all have already came to a realization of it or somebody now is getting ready to tell the secrets that they have not told. Um, when this card is reversed, the highest priestess, again, this is the side chick card too. There's jealousy. So again, there could be some of you, again, like I was saying, Scorpio, um, you could be ending a relationship as far as with an earth sign or an earth sign could be re re removing their uh, self of, from a relationship from you is what I'm getting. Somebody's feeling like they're the side chick or the side man. There could be a um, gossip that's involved as far as when it comes to the connection between you and this person. So a lot of he say, she say, so other people's opinions. And that's the reason why that um, that seven of, of wands came out where you're feeling guarded. So some of y'all feel like you have to protect your connection or you have to protect, you know, that person that you want to have that, 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 um, that relationship with okay so again some of y'all have been just doing some soul searching and after you have done some soul searching regardless if this is you scorpio or cross watchers that's dealing with the scorpio you have came to some type of illumination you came to some type of realization on what it is that has happened to you or what it is that you need to have done okay is what i'm what needs to, to what needs to be done is what i'm hearing so i i feel that some of you scorpios know what needs to be done and you're getting ready to do that is what i'm hearing um, when the highest priestess is also re reversed again, this is somebody lacking some type of control. So again, some of you Scorpios are going to end a relationship with somebody again that was just, you know, juggling other people. They were always lying or always, you know, being very secretive when it comes to the connection between you and them. So some of y'all, they could have been keeping you as a secret is what I'm hearing from this. Okay, um, so let's keep moving forward. So again, we have the Hermit card, which is Virgo. We have the World card, which is Earth again, which is um, Virgo, Capricorn, as well as Taurus. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is again, Earth. We have the Highest Priestess, which is Reverse, which we have um, Water, which is you, Scorpio. Uh, could be you, Scorpio, or another Cancer, or another Pisces. And then that's what we have also for as far as the Face cards, okay? So again, some of y'all are going to be um, allowing this person to come back. Some of them, this, this person right now is in deep regret. Um, again, they're realizing their actions. They're realizing the things that they have done as far as when it caused, causes you to remove their, yourself from them or cause delays in this relationship, okay? Some of y'all are going to let this person to come back and then some of y'all not because y'all know um, you, don't, you, you don't trust this person. I feel that somebody doesn't just trust, like the trust has been lost in the connection and there could be possibly, again, some of y'all that are going to be wretched rejecting this person and completely turning away and then some of y'all are going to be allowing this person to come back okay we have codependency so again some of y'all realizing there could have been somebody that was just more codependent on you scorpios or cross watchers um the scorpio was more codependent on you as far as your finances there's a lot of money here a lot of earth energy here so there could be a lot of arguments as far as back and forth as far as money if this is friends and family members or the, even your love relationship there could be arguments as far as money um it says codependency again somebody could be drinking overindulging in certain things that's not good for you just so you can hide the emotions they're saying for you not to do that remove yourself from that energy again there could be certain people that's around you that just could be vampires they're draining your energy um, they see that you are somebody that vibrates on higher light. Um, again, you are empath. You're very, um, uh, a lot of y'all are empath Scorpio. So they're saying for you to protect your surroundings, protect your energy. Um, it says addictions are affecting your romantic life at this time. 
We have passion. So it says, allow your heart to sing with joy. So again, if this person is coming back, this person has strong passion for you. You and this person desire each other. There could be some intimacy that's going to be involved. Let's say if this is somebody that is in a marriage and they're leaving a marriage, I feel that somebody could be leaving, finding out that they are in a karmic relationship. And it could be a marriage where you and this person is husband and wife and they're removing themselves from that relationship and going towards something else. So let's say if you have a Scorpio been waiting for for um, somebody to end a marriage. I feel that this marriage is getting ready to be um, ended or this person's getting ready to leave this person. Um, they're no longer codependent on this person's energy or codependent on this person as far as, let's say, if somebody was more um, putting in as far as the finances or the one that was basically the provider. I feel that this person is um, no longer wanting to be involved with that. They're wanting to go where the passion is. We have religious factors. So again, it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbrings and spiritual past. So this has to do with some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that, again, you could be more um, Scorpio, more spiritual, more, you know, in tune with your spirituality. The person, the other person could be more religious or it could be vice versa. Or this could be just you questioning your beliefs right now. A lot of things that you were not seeing before, again, as far as things um, when it comes to your belief systems, you can be, you know, questioning that going through a transformation of that certain things getting revealed to you, which is causing you to turn away from certain things that as far as you were programmed, as far as a child. So some of y'all could be going through that as well. Um, the religious factors also has to do with your parents, um, your upbringing. So some of y'all could be dealing with situations or trying to heal situations as far as your parents, you know, or kill situations with your children. Um, this is also letting me know that a lot of y'all could be having activations as far as your crown, at your crown area. And that's again, the reason why a lot of things that you were not seeing before are getting revealed to you because when the highest priestess is avert upright i'm just seeing this as you scorpio with this being the only card out here so a lot of y'all could be again very intuitive um you know very gifted um you know not seeing again a hidden knowledge that you were seeing bef uh, that was in front of you you're not seeing it before now you're seeing it and you're gaining that wisdom which is going to cause you to have activations in your crown area okay so that's what i'm hearing for that we have dear spirit, so it says bring a gentle touch. So again, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, this person is wanting to be gentle. Again, intimacy, so there could be some playfulness. Um, this person could be very touchy-touchy when it comes, especially if y'all have been in se separation. And especially if this person is coming to realization of their own habits, their own actions, the things that they have done in order to cause, you know, you and, then, you, you and this person not to have a completion. This person could be, you know, now wanting to be that nurturing, wanting to be that caring, wanting to be that... That loving wanting to be the one that's providing for the relationship is what I'm hearing so now this person is wanting to bring that dental touch we have an 18 here which is a nine this is about movement moving on this is about happiness and this is about your growth your growth we have flamingo spirit so it says embrace the in-between so this is you basically you know knowing that the things that have happened in your life um all the hill you know the trials and tribulations that you went through um, there's always an in-between of it. You are always have to go through something in order for you to realize the good things in life. So they're saying for you to embrace the in-between. Also think, you know, live in the present moment. Um, you living, embracing your, your dark side and your light side and learning how to balance it so you can in, live in between the both of them. Um, okay, so everybody has a dark side. Everybody has a light side. Some people are just more darker than others and some people are just more lighter than others. But you have to find that balance within between in order for you to be able to move forward and just for you to heal properly, okay? So we have a 26 here, which is an eight. So again, about um, movement. So a lot of movement and a lot of taking action, a lot of delays that could have took place. And now, you know, things are moving forward. Even though you have the world card reverse, which is delays, you know, it always has to start, you know, the delays only last for so long is what I'm hearing. We have rhino spirit. So it says overcoming any obstacles. So that means you overcoming anything that's in front of you earlier. I just said trials and tribulations. You overcoming those trials and tribulations and it leading you into a position where you know that it's best for you. You can overcome anything that's put in front of you. Anybody that's causing, trying to cause conflict into your life, keeping you stuck. 
giving, you know, just putting things into your, your ear, not wanting see, to see you to, to succeed or for you to be successful or to see you to be happy. You're overcoming all those optical Scorpios or cross watchers that was in front of you. So anybody that was trying to bring conflicts in your life, fives or conflicts, guess what? Those conflicts brought change and now you're moving forward. Now you're taking action. Okay. So I love this card. I like this card. Um, we have heart chakra. So earlier again, how I was saying that some of y'all could have had your heart chakra closed. You know, you were not healing properly. Properly, You're still holding on to resentment, not allowing yourself to realize your own worth. A lot of y'all are finally opening up your heart chakra. If there, you need help opening up your heart chakra, wear green, eat green vegetables, eat green fruits, um, you know, uh, flowers, uh, nature, sit underneath a tree, touch a tree. That would also help you with your heart chakra as well. We have a 22 here, which is also a master number, which is about union, which is about you finally bringing that balance back within yourself. Codependency, let's say Scorpio, some of y'all could have been co so codependent on another person's energy that you were forgetting to love yourself. And now you're allowing yourself to love yourself. And now you're realizing your own self-worth, okay? So again, this person, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, this person's heart chakra or your heart chakra could have been blocked and now their heart chakra is open it says grounding finding that grounding within yourself planning um allowing your your chakras to all align all seven of them starting with your root chakra your foundation um again being in nature will help you going outside you know um the trees the flowers walking in gardens just paying attention to you know gaia that would be something that would bring stability back into your life um allow you to balance your emotions um we have again um you just being practical so a lot of y'all are finally getting seeing practical being practical after you you know again having to do some type of soul searching or distancing yourself from this person that's coming back we have a six here which is about the past so the past is coming back this is also about you being in harmony with yourself okay so a lot of red a lot of green here we have pleasure so again pleasures i was leaving um if you are using certain things again like alcohol drugs to stop you from hiding your emotions or stop you from dealing with your emotions. They're saying remove yourself from certain pleasures. Allow yourself to just, you know, um, don't hide. Don't, don't, don't and overindulge yourself in certain things. That's just going to cause you to have more delays in your life. And I feel that some of you Scorpios are realizing that some of your habits or some of the addictions were causing delays in your life. Um, and they're saying for you to, you know, release those, you know, overcome those obstacles. And y'all are overcoming those obstacles, even though if it's taken, even if you have delays in your life, you're still overcoming it because you're taking the steps. You're putting in the effort for you to break anything that's no longer serving you. Again, some of you, if this person is coming back, this person you find, they find major pleasure um, in one another. Um, this person, he, they enjoy the time that they spend with you. Um, you and this person has like, again, deep passion. There's a lot of passion here, okay? So it says, enjoying life to the fullest, Scorpios. Y'all could be going out celebrating. You could be going out partying. Um, you know, you just know, realizing that you are beautiful. You are handsome, handsome, realizing your own self-worth. We have a 10 here. So again, completions, even though you're having the delays, you're dealing with those delays right now, you are going to be going to another cycle, okay? We have create, create. And express so create and express so let's see what this means do I have the book yes I do <clears throat> okay create and express it says creativity is virtual so nurturing acts that we crave without even knowing it it is a rational form of self-care our constructive society supports impossible pre-meter pre meters that are that make us believe that being expensive and creative has to look a certain way bull creativity is about making mistakes trying new things seeing something there seeing something through a different lens your spirit requires creativity outlets and forms of expression for its very survival. If you feel like a talent, talent, talentless hack, it, it, it means that you are simply having, haven't found your medium or your inspiration. 
and there is no harm at all in continuing the journey to discovering both. You are allowed to not be perfect at some times and still find joy in it. By giving yourself permission to dub doubling and exploring new things, you may be uh, pleasantly surprised by what you learn about yourself. The message here, set time aside to create and express your spirituality, mentally and emotionally well-being. So again, how I was saying, y'all taking rests, you doing the things that you need to do as far as taking rests. A lot of y'all had had to, again, pull yourself away from certain situations, certain people um, in order to bring that creativity back into your life in order for you to realize your own self-worth. Um, it's okay for you to make mistakes, Scorpios. It's okay for you to make mistakes, cross -watch watchers. And again, a lot of y'all are realizing that some of y'all are dealing with somebody that is realizing their, their mistakes. And again, it's it, even the delays is going to bring a, a beautiful situation out of the situation you're still going to find joy out of whatever situation that you have been dealt with they're saying for you to be creative um you express yourself a little bit more find that inspiration within yourself and once you find that inspiration within yourself you go into that self-discovery phase again finding your self-worth and at that time it leads you to your purpose okay so they're saying be creative the information that they said that you can say for this is as i am positive I am positive creative force in this world. I have the power to create things never before seen on this earth that only I can uniquely provide. You are unique. Remember that. I give myself permission to claim and act upon this now. So basically doing the things that are best for you, Scorpio, okay, before anybody else. We have yes. So again, if you were wondering if this, if you're going to let this person come back again, some of y'all are going to let this person come back. You and this person are going to have a new beginning. Some of y'all are going to be removing yourself from a relationship and no longer being connected to somebody again. That is not, um, that could be just there for the money or they, they were just there just to, you know, feed off of your energy. It says, trust your intuition. So follow your intuition, trust your guides, trust your higher self, um, trust the synchronicities, trust the things that, you know, are happening in your life. You following your gut intuition, um, you taking a part of that Aries in energy and just building that confidence and being headstrong. And once you do that, you gain that ambitious drive about yourself, okay? And now you're that self-starter. Now you're daring. Now you're seeking that passion. Now you're using your intuition because you're trusting yourself. So they're saying, trust yourself, Scorpios, before you trust anybody else. And again, if something's not for you, it's not for you. And if you know if somebody is for you, you know, that, that person is for you, okay? Okay, so it says trust. Wow, I just said trust. Trust, it says transformations occur through acceptance. Once you accept the situation, the current situation, it will automatically transform. So again, accepting things for what it is, it is what it is. And I'm, that's what I'm going to title of this video. Scorpios, it is what it is, okay? So trusting yourself, allowing yourself to transform, allowing yourself to do the things that you need to do in order for you to heal yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Um, again, taking that rest. If you have to remove yourself from people because they're trying to start conflicts in your life, do that, okay? So hopefully this reading resonates with you, Scorpios. If it does, like my channel, um, subscribe to my channel, comment and share. And I just wanna say thank you and you have a great day.